And we have another exclusive interview with another credible source who is backing up Grush's claims. He says he experienced something similar. Retired U.S. Navy Rear Admiral Tim Gaudet, Gallaudet worked at the highest levels of government, leading the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration under President Trump. Tonight, he tells News Nation special correspondent Ross Coulthard that while serving his country, there were attempts to cover up UFO sightings by members of the military. Here's his story. Tim, you've said publicly that you think UFOs, UAPs, are the story of the century. We're being visited by non-human intelligence with technology we really don't understand and with intentions we don't understand at all either. Now that really does surprise me to hear that from a former very high-ranking flag officer in the US Navy to actually say you're stating categorically that you believe NHI, non-human intelligence, are real. Absolutely. Tim Gallaudet has spent a career serving his country. First in the Navy, working in areas like aircraft carrier combat operations and assisting Navy SEAL teams during counter-terrorism operations, according to his official biography. More recently, he served as acting administrator of the Commerce Department's agency, which forecasts weather and monitors ocean and atmospheric conditions, where he analysed the science behind weather and other phenomena. One of my jobs in the Navy, I was the chief meteorologist of the Navy at the time when Ryan was encountering the UAP off the U.S. East Coast. People know that I received a secret email with the GoFast video attached to it from my boss, my boss's operations officer, that, that where I learn now that these were happening and in, 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 uh, occurring in, in training airspace and causing near mid-air collisions. So that safety issue is, is important, and I couldn't believe, well, I understood why, but the Navy didn't do anything about that, and then they actually pulled back that email from my computer on the secret network. Clearly, you believe there's a cover-up. Yes. Why are they covering it up? I mean, you're probably one of the more highly cleared public officials from the military, past serving, who's basically come out publicly and said, you think this is real. Why do you think there is this cover-up? What are they concealing? This is technology we're still trying to learn about, and it could give us an advantage in any military conflict. And that, so that's a good reason to not disclose the nature of the technology. We don't want to uh, release and disclose all of the technology that we've recovered. However, I think it's about time that we do disclose that we, we are in contact with non-human intelligence. That, that's what needs to be put out there in the public. Shouldn't it be really important that somebody certainly at your level in the Navy be allowed to talk openly to your colleagues about the flight safety risks that these kind of things Absolutely. are posing. Absolutely. This is a safety issue. The problem, Tim, is that a lot of the government is still in absolute denial. I mean, you talk as a fact about a crash retrieval program, and we're talking here about retrieved non-human technology, aren't we? Yes. And yet there are people in the government is still saying he's seen no credible evidence of this right. phenomena. What do you say to that? So what you have going on right now are, again, legacy classified programs, special access programs, and without congressional direction and White House policy, that's not going to change. Wow. News Nation special correspondent Ross Coulthard joins us now. Uh, Ross, uh, an admiral from the Navy following the Senate Majority Leader speaking out today publicly saying, why is there a cover up? This is pretty amazing. It's spreading. I can, uh, g'day Elizabeth, and look, I can tell you this is a measure of the depth of feeling at the highest levels of military and intelligence community leadership that it's really time that people started speaking out about this issue. As I've said repeatedly to you and others, I think that the uh, intransigence by the House Republicans to stopping the UAP disclosure legislation, if anything, is just going to, to force greater public disclosure because there is an impatience at the highest level of the military that this is a safety and national security issue that needs to be urgently addressed. And when you see a Rear Admiral retired of the calibre of Tim Gallaudet making those statements, 
I find it quite sobering. Yeah, it's interesting. The admiral says, look, I get that we want to reverse engineer whatever we found uh, and that it's a, it, it's a national security issue we, you know, and to keep that part of it secret. But to deny that you even have it is, is a whole different issue. And doesn't the public and the military up in the skies with these things have a right to know? They do have a right to know, and the argument against admitting that is that it's a slippery slope, that if you admit the existence of a non-human intelligence, you then have to admit the possession of technology that might very well be giving America an advantage against foreign adversaries in a future conflict. And I don't buy that. I think it's time the public was told the truth, and so do very senior people in the US government, military and intelligence community. All right. And what did you make? Uh, do you think we'll hear what will the result be from Senator and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer today blasting House Republicans for watering down that UAP amendment? Um, Schumer also was, said that they've heard from several credible sources that information on UAPs has been withheld from Congress, according to Schumer. I was cheering the good senator on. Uh, again, the thing I'm heartened by is that there have been House Republicans and senators who've actually condemned the, the Republicans who did block the UAP disclosure legislation. They are uh, There's a view very strongly in the Congress, and that's expressed in what Senator Schumer and Senator Runs have said in the House today. They've made it very, very clear the battle is not over. They want that presidential records review panel, and they're not going down without a fight.